big one yep. coming up. What should she be doing to prepare for that? What's she doing right now? Honestly, just following the same plan. Like she, uh, she's really focused on maintaining herself, like keeping her school work up, keeping good sleep, keeping her good nutrition, keep getting the key workouts, but then recovering, you know, like she has a really good uh, system that's working. So I think she just needs to keep trusting the process. Okay, call your attention down to doing. the record board there, right by the finish line, Simeon. All right, Susan Hedgren here, younger sister to Jane Hedgren. Susan, tell me about what it means to have an older sister that's, you know, coming out here and working hard. What are you going to be doing? Um, I think it's pretty cool to have an older sister that runs. She's definitely a big role model for me, and she eats healthy, which really, um, it just inspires me to eat healthy too and just become a better runner. And um, I'm really hoping I can run at Arcadia one day. Awesome. So let's see, now as a fifth grader, you're a fifth grader now, you're chasing some of her records. What are some of her records from elementary school? Elementary school, I don't really know um, the sprints or the distance, but I do know the mile, and it was 542, and currently that, that was for 6th grade, and I'm in 5th grade, and I have 538. What? You're already faster than her right now. Her 7th grade record for the mile was 537, so I'm one second off that. Oh, you're gunning for it, huh? So that's great. So she sounds like she's inspired you need to be healthy and work hard. That's great. What do you say about uh, this night at Arcadia? Is it fun watching the races? It's cold and it's very fun. Some of these people are very talented. It's really fun to cheer them on and watch them. Awesome. Thanks, Susan. All right, I'm here with Jane Hiddengren, second place finisher in the girls' one-mile race with a 441 and uh, second uh, fastest time in the nation this year as well. So Jane, tell me about the race and your preparation coming into this. Yeah, so I was just, I hit a little bit of a taper coming into this race. 
Um, I just want it to be fresh. This is one of the few hard, hard efforts I'm taking this season just to get a really good time. And there was great competition today, so I just wanted to set myself up for smart success. Fantastic. Um, so in Utah, 451 this year so far. Mm -hmm. um, and so this was about, uh, you know, about 11 seconds faster, 1600 from before, and now this is about, it puts you about a three, a 439, 1600 meter. Uh, so tell me, you know, what did it feel like going faster, lower elevation? Um, did it feel, uh, it looked like you held back a little bit, drafted. Um, what was your strategy coming into this race and, and how did that turn out? I think I executed my strategy. Um, my strategy coming in, no time goal, no place goal. I just wanted to run my own race. This was such a special opportunity because I got to race against competition today. And so I just wanted, I was just here for a good time. I just wanted to stay relaxed, stay smooth, keep momentum, and just live it up because you don't get these opportunities very often. Awesome. And so I was just grateful. Um, and yeah, it played out well. I think running my own race really paid off because I just moved up personally as the race went on because I was feeling great um, because I knew what worked best for me is to not go out and blister mm, a 66 first lap. That doesn't work for me. Um, so I sat back and did a work down and I think it worked out great. Okay, fantastic. 68, 69, 72, 71. Those are your splits. Um, what was uh, last, uh, with about 600 left, I think you made a big surge, a big move there, went into second place, saw Sadie up ahead of you. What was going through your head uh, during that last 600? What was your... I, what was going through my head is that I was feeling really good. I don't know if I actually was in second place quite at 600 meters, because that was quite a bit left in the race. I think I maybe moved into second place 500 meters in, 500 meters left. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was feeling great. I just want to keep momentum. Um, I think I think Sadie had separated quite a bit, and so she ran it very smart. If I were to, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would have caught her if I if I really really tried. But it was a race, and I ended up getting second, and so that was just my placement today. Okay, fantastic. What did you do after the race today? Uh, for a run, mm -hmm. I did seven miles of cool down. Seven miles cool down. Okay, and what's next? What's coming up in the season? For races, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep working hard, and we've got Penn Relays April 28th, I believe, and I will be running the 3,000 meter, and I'm very excited for that one. I actually, the meet director was kind enough to send out an email, and so he invited me to that one, and I'm very excited. Okay, well, fantastic. Great work today. Thank you.